I believe. All right, here we are. It is a best of seven. In the bottom right-hand side of the map, he's Hero. Make sure the overlay ticked over. It did. We are good. And in the top left, he is Pink, and he's Protoss, and he is Zest. Pink, Protoss, Zest. Uh-huh. All right. We were promised memes. Let's we were. See it. I mean, so far no cannon rush in game one, so that's unfortunate. I don't know. Is Hero a known cannon rusher? I don't know. I was just thinking of PvP, we should get one cannon rush. That's all I'm asking. I can never defend PvP cannon rushes. <laughs> it sucks. I can defend them so, so easily when I play Terran. But when I play Protoss, I'm just like, ah! <laughs> I'm building can't a gateway. My buildings. No, I can't. Yeah. It, it creates a lot of problems. <laughs> I'm just like, well, guess I'll die then. Guess I'll die. It's a hard life. Cannon rushing will never go out of style. No, it won't. It's too core to the identity of StarCraft. Yeah, you know, as a matter of fact, could Blizzard even... Was there cannon rushing in Brood War? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Cannons are the same thing in Brood War, so yeah. Okay. So Blizzard can just never create a StarCraft 2 game or a StarCraft game that has cannon rushing or that doesn't have cannon rushing. Right. I think it's required to have Marines, Zealots, and uh, Zerglings. And cannon rushing has to exist, and the rest of it, they can change it. Okay. Because those are the consistent things. Still blows my mind that in all the history of StarCraft 2, they've never adjusted the basic stats for the Marine, the Zealot, or the Z at all. Not once. No. I mean, it's got, got it the right the first balanced time. around. Yep. If they need to change something, they'll change anything else. It would be like removing the bottom block in Jenga. Yeah. Always a bad idea. Don't do that. Oh, uh, is this? Oh my gosh, Zest. You hey, look. are the best. Scouting oh heroes, goodness. Stargate. Heroes like, ruh -roh. My random Stargate has been spotted. So now he's going to send his own stalkers to come and help. Now, it's all about who wins this engagement, if I'm not mistaken, to who is going to be able to save this. Hero tries yeah. to get the probe first, but that gets invaded into Zest's stalkers, which is disastrous, Ooh. to say the least. Oracle can't do anything to help here either. I mean, an Oracle can engage stalkers, but it's not, a good it's not gonna happen. If Hero had kept his stalkers around, he maybe could have engaged, but yeah, that Oracle's Ooh. just getting repelled. The Stargate is gonna be shut down from there on. That last hit was really big because it took a bunch of damage off it the did. HP of that Oracle. Yeah. yeah. So and what? the luck, there's no surprise anymore. So Oracle's gonna do what exactly? Mm, not a lot. Fly around aimlessly. Cast Revelation. Yes. Stasis Wards. Oh, yeah, that's a good use. I'm on board. Both players have expanded. So, I mean, losing the Stargate might not matter in the grand scheme of things for Hero. His Oracle spots this to Adepts, which is nice. Mm, might actually go after them. There's those Adepts. They're actually just going to run right into the Stalkers. So that Ow. is quite nice for Hero picking that off. Two. They both die. That's brutal. Mm -hmm. That is nice. Blink is on the way for both players. So, I mean, all things considered, this is a fairly close game. Hero's behind on a few probes. So that isn't great for him. But it's basically just like he's a second or two behind in the game. We're a couple of seconds behind in the game, so if he plays defensive, he can overcome that. Plus one for Hero is a little bit earlier than Zest, so Zest throws up his own Forge. 
I mean, it's a very even PvP we see right now. Heroes is falling behind on workers, though, a little bit. You gotta keep producing those. Yeah, that's gonna be the big problem. Also, eh, move the probe. Do you really need to worry about two random adepts? I guess you do. But. Yeah, adepts getting in there can pretty much ruin your day. As they two-shot those probes. They do. Robo's yeah, I don't on know. the way. I, I mean, I'm not even sure if it's capable at this level of Protoss to just have a complete shellacking this fast. It's just everybody knows the standard build. There's really not much you can do to bother it, unless you can in Rush. So I don't know. I'm just not shocked that we're this even at this point in the game, even with the scouted proxy. Inoki in chat saying this VJ is a foreigner in StarCraft terms? Yes. And Afrika TV terms? Absolutely. We're here on Afrika TV every two weeks. Hero is trying to go for some like mind game sort of stuff with his prism. Uh, that's fake. <laughs> I mean, there's a chance he can get the third base. Like, Kinda the stalkers like it, for Zest are out of position. If Hero just dove on top of this, he's gonna have plus one done in just a second. Like, go for it, Hero. Get it. Get it. Oh my gosh. Oh, we'll see. Uh, he's just he's go got a retreat. Yeah. yeah, that was some good damage. Good damage. It's easier to kill later, but oh, not bad. An attempt at a stasis ward from the Oracle gets dodged by Zest. Archon pops up. Charge on the way for both sides. Plus two on the way for both sides. Supply pretty much even. Like this is yeah. just that mirror situation which things even up a great deal. Charge finishing up for hero. Take that, hallucinated phoenix. But there's another one. Oh no. His everything that's already all. been scouted is going to be scouted again. Although maybe the Templar Archives hasn't been seen. It was seen building. But this is what you got to do in PvP. You got to keep uh, checking up on your opponent, whether they're going for an attack, whether they're going for a base that will leave them vulnerable to attack. And so they just keep lobbing hallucinated oracles at e or hallucinated phoenix at each other. <laughs> it's one of the more scouted matchups. ZVZ mm -hmm. can be very scouted as well. Yes. Then TVT. In the early game, you can be a little bit in the dark, but once you get scanning, you're golden. Yeah. There's nothing but. Nothing but scans. When there's 20 orbitals and it's just a sun. Yeah. And all you can hear is scanning. Oh, that takes me back. <laughs> oh, wait, hero. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened here? Oh, no. A group of stalkers got caught out. And by a group, every single one of his. Oh. Hero is thinking of counterattacking after this. I don't know if he should go for this, though, just because he lost some stalkers. Sends in a bunch of zealots. I like this decision, as long as he directs them properly. Uh, Zest is going to warp in some of his own. The zealots will all be getting chased down, though, so this should be cleaned up. Uh, he gets the yeah. cannon, which is nice. Cannon, stalker. 
Wait, did that blink out? It did escape. Mm. But yes. Zest cleans it up. Nicely done. Plans his own harassment. Both players going for the Dark Shrines. Loving that. Both players going for Dark Shrines. Both players going for DTs. Oh, yeah. Uh, Hero is a little bit disjointed. Loses some units at the front. Loses his Oracle, which is not what you want to lose. His Oracles are expensive. He's going to repower his Stargate, which I love. That's a pretty significant army advantage right now for Zest. He's up about yeah. 20 supply, 22 supply. Disruptors can equalize that, though. Absolutely. That 20 supply really is all the stalkers that Hero lost. Zest does have a lot of zealots, but... Uh, yeah, look at that. That fast prism just jetting around. Uh, it could be caught by the stalkers. It'll make it out. Does he blink? Mm, not quite in time. A couple of probes getting focused down by Hero's Zealot counterattack. The Zest with his cannons. No sweat. Now DTs are running about the map. This just becomes a nightmare for these players to play. Yes. <laughs> Constant harassment everywhere at once, it seems. It's so annoying. I mean, is it better than Disruptor Tennis? Mmm. I guess we could still have that. We still could. Oh, yeah. who fires first? Zest is a little bit quicker to the draw, but neither player takes a loss. Mass, mass zealot attack towards the fourth base for Hero. Oh boy. Uh, he might just have it. to recall to deal with this. Oh, man. DT's in the mix up there, too. Uh, yeah, Hero's coming oh, away from home and bad stuff yeah, is happening. Yeah, he's got a recall. Because this is going to hit his natural as well. Uh, he warps in defensive DT's, which is cute. But the damage is already done, losing a ton of probes, losing position. And that's a dead nexus. Is it a dead nexus? Oh my gosh. It is. Uh, the, the, oh, wait, up, 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 up. Wait. oh, it stays alive. Uh, Heal that with that shield battery right away. 20 HP. What? All right. Now, Hero's own counterattack is not getting nearly as much done. Send a stalker in to finish off that nexus. Send, Use an yeah, oracle. One DT swipe and that thing's dead. Anything. Anything. Okay, here comes in another zealot counter attack. Uh, DTs charge lots, run to every base. There's one cannon in the mineral line, but that's not enough to stop this many zealots or DTs. Here is just getting pulled back. Yeah, every time he tries to go anywhere, bad things happen back home. 103 to 76 army supply in favor of Zest. Oh, that group. That's nice, but huh. not just the supply. Look at the bank. Yeah, the respective banks are pretty uh, discouraging if you're a hero fan. Hey, look, the 6 o'clock base. Oh, no. Oh, the shield battery's trying. It's trying, but it's not going to do it. There we go. I mean, saved it for about a minute and a half, but that was, that was going down. Oh, disruptor shots getting out, but yeah, Zest just seems a little bit quicker here. And Gemini also in chat questioning here is Stalker Warp, and I agree on that. Uh. This late in the PvP, you generally don't want to warp in Stalkers. <laughs> okay, Zest disrupt. Oh, go oh my gosh! Bing oh, bang boom! Mortal down! All the Archons! Archons. Oh my gosh! Oh, okay. this was a massacre! Okay. Ow. This is this is feeling like a GG, ladies and this gentlemen. This is feeling like one heck of a GG. Uh, the players were once in equal positions, but it quickly got out of hand for a hero. Zest has a big attack at the natural as well. Just overrunning hero everywhere. I mean, I like to say you've always got a chance when you've got disruptors. But that's it. Zest takes map number one. <laughs> Looking good doing it too. Zest fans in chat, let's hear it for your boy. Yeah, it's it was a pretty even game until those last couple engagements and Tiro loses the base. 
Those disruptor hits were massive, and uh, that's all it takes sometimes in PvP. Just a couple little situations like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a large map for a PvP, so we'll see the next map, which is going to be Zen. Boop. See if it's quite as drawn out or quite as long. If you have not already, ladies and gentlemen, make sure to use that Matcherino code. We have got like 15 more coupons to use. Ooh, nice. They're being used. Oh, yeah. We're all the way up to $33.50. Thanks for using the coupon code BitWrench and VectorMan. Most recently, DeCaps is still awesome for his $5 mm -hmm. direct contribution. Yes, anyone who directly supports tournaments is amazing. Okay, here we are into map number two. The PvP best of seven continues on. Zen. Zen indeed. And in the top right hand side of the map, he's down 0 to 1, but it's a best of seven, so he's got time to bring it back. It's so zero. much time. That's the best part about a best of seven. Losing the first game means almost nothing. In the bottom left, that's how Hero's thinking. It's. Oh, Zest. The refluent in chat says, classic greater than zest. Do you agree? Yes, I do. Classic is great, man. Cla yeah, classic losing is classic is sad. But yeah, he'll be sure. back. It was real bad timing for going away forever. Well, not forever. Not forever, you're right. 18 months or so in the military? Year uh. and a half? Let's say he comes yeah. back, that gives him six months to get back into form. Then he has one year of ESL Pro Tour. Which very well could be continued on after could two be. years. Because, I mean, as long as War Chest sales stay good. And then I get the feeling that Blizzard is going to run out of esports. And so they're actually going to want to put their money somewhere. Because, like, <laughs> Heroes is gone. Overwatch yeah. is on its way out. WoW sure never really like was it. a thing. Nope. You make an excellent point. It's going to be like StarCraft's been around all along. Don't forget. It took us for time. granted. Yep. Now look where it's brought you. So, super identical production tabs. Like, Protoss versus Protoss is the most free of the mirror matchups in the first three minutes or so. Like, once the gate was Cybercore is done and you start building stuff from the gateways, it does mix up as we see two Adepts coming out here for Hero mm. and two Stalkers from Zest. But until that point, it is the safest only way really to open. Unless, again, you're doing the cannon rush. <laughs> you keep mentioning that cannon rush. I want it so bad. Who would do it though, Hero or Zest? I don't know. Zest, they're both capable. Let's see why not. Gemini's in chat. Gemini, does Hero ever cannon rush? <laughs> He's our expert. Ask the, it's like the phone of, it's like the, yeah, ask the expert. Phone a friend. Yeah. yeah. These adepts are gonna jet by that stalker. I mean, oh, it's a dark shrine. I love it. Not in PvP. Rats. Just saying. Look, everybody loves a good cannon rush. That's all I'm trying to say. Nobody's ever like, oh man, it's a cannon rush, lame. Yeah, right? but, but Hero likes winning. And sure. Are cannon rush is that good in pro PvP? I mean, if they're never used, probably not. Um, that ain't good. Ow. Oh, uh, this is continuing to be bad all of a sudden. Oh um, my god. Are his gates no. just going to get unpowered? The probes are sacrificing their own lives to try I'm to save coming. it. 
Uh, there isn't actually any detection for Zest, but he does have sentries. So he can always force field the ramp, and he actually walled himself in completely to potential counter DTs. Gemini says hero build order win poggers, but I'm not, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's the robo on the way. If hero warps in like three DTs, he can maybe get the Nexus. But that's it. He ain't getting up this ramp. Two more DTs on the way. Just Definitely set to work not. on that Nexus. Hope you can get it before an observer's out. I mean, nope. Not happening. Oh, yeah, he's going to try and go up. It's just going to get force fielded in. Hey, look! There's two DTs that are going to get literally nothing done. But they're... Just wait until the force field expires, then you'll see. Oh, he juked his way in! But it doesn't matter. <laughs> There's going to nope. be another force field, like... <laughs> he, I, I wonder if he could have got the Nexus. If he set Here's to work on the Nexus. Here's what I've decided about force fields. You shouldn't be able to move other units out of the way so you can get a force field down. Really? You think it should just be like, no? Yeah, it should not allow it. you to put a force field on top of other units. Okay, well... Uh, I mean, I, I'm kind of inclined to agree, but then they'd just be so garbage. You think so? Because you couldn't split armies. Sure you could. You just have to place them in places that stuff doesn't already exist. But StarCraft 2, like, all the armies are usually in one big ball. Pretty clumped up. Yeah, that's a fair point. I mean, maybe if, at the start of StarCraft 2 if they designed them like that. But now, that ain't the case. I suppose. I mean, Hero... Did have a poten did have potential for a build order win there, but Zest is just good, and he's like, "Oh, I'm overrunning you at home, probably DTs, unless he spotted it." I don't know if he did. I don't think he headed up that way. Maybe. So we're going to be on Ephemeron, the latter edition, for game number three here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm just glad Corrosivile exists, personally. Yeah, it was... A, I imagine it would have been a hard life as Zerg before Corrosivile came along. You had no answer to force fields except for ultras. It was bad. <laughs> yeah. I imagine that would be bad. Yeah. What's funny is Blizz is like, hey, here's this corrosive bile. It's great against force fields. And it also does some damage. And Zergs are like, damage? Absolutely. Let's use it for damage all the time. Mm hmm. Even though, you know, it's supposed to hit stationary targets because it's so dang slow. It's great defensively, though, like if you're on the retreat or whatever. That's where Corrosive gets its strength. It is. But I just, I feel like if they could track this stuff, the number of times Corrosive hits something other than force fields is like 95%. Yeah, that's Would probably, be true. probably a lot of pylons and things getting hit. Yeah, liberators, tanks. Yeah, Corrosive was a fantastic addition. It was really nice. Because there was nothing worse than, oh, hey, Protoss showed up, went inside your main base, and... Force field did you oh offer from gosh. your own domain, and there was nothing you could Literally do. Literally nothing answers. you could do. Zero answers. Oh, None. I guess my main base is dead now. Yeah. Bad times. All right, let's introduce these players. Bottom right, we've got Hero. And in the top left hand side of the map, he is Zest. Zestfully clean. You have zest soap in Canada? No. Is that a thing? Yeah, it's uh, American soap. I don't know if it's still around. I just remember the commercials from the 90s. Ah. It was it was like a green bar of soap, and there was a song about being zestfully clean. And oh. It always looked nice. I never got it, though. That, I mean, I can think of green soap, which is Irish Spring. Mmm. That smells good. Yeah, you know what? Now that you mention it, they were really similar. <laughs> Did they just rebrand? I don't think so. 
here. Zest soap. Oh, they still sell it. I guess it's more of like an aqua color than green. Okay. Hero really likes his proxies, by the way. I don't see why not. Proxies are cool. But it's completely back or not worked the first two times. But then again, I feel like not proxying Zest would go over just about as well as trying to proxy <laughs> Zest. Probably. Probably, yes. It is, like, I, I'm sure some advertiser out there somewhere would be so happy that I still remember the slogan from a stupid soap commercial from 1996. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a marketing success. It is. That's a win, man. That's a huge win. But that's everybody. Everybody can remember the advertising from when they... Yep. Right? It is ingrained into you. Yeah. It's kind of sad if you think about it. Yeah. Probably not good for you. No. Adept versus Stalker. Who will win? Probably the today? Stalkers. Battle of Ephemeron. Mm, yeah. Run adepts, run. Hero has made two more adepts, and he's making two more adepts. Oh, shoot. Resonating Glaive all in. Let's go. Twilight Council. Mm, he doesn't have a Twilight, though. He's just building ah. the Nexus. He's expanding Make off the back of six adepts. Does this work? No. Make a Twilight. Or just... Make something, because if Zest catches wind of this, he can just push. Yeah, and the adepts aren't defending anything. No. Zest is gone for the Twilight this game. Maybe he'll Dark Shrine it. Hmm. Like, why six, why six adepts? <laughs> I've never seen this before. I don't know. If they get in, it would kill a lot of probes, but... Yeah, no, he's hoping he can sneak into the main base, but, like, Zest is not bad? <laughs> but why try and sneak in five when you could just do two? Well, you can kill more probes if you have five, obviously. Well... Science, man. But the return, um, I'm not going to question it. Hero does as Hero does. <laughs> He's just a wild card. I like it. And now Zest has enough stalkers to split them up. Oh, oh, whoa! Hey, look! They made it in! Oh, Hero's a genius. He gets a sentry. Oh, good oh force fields, though, from Zest. Oh, my gosh. The attempts. Four probes. It's, it's something. Hold up. We're not oh. done yet. We're not done. It's five. Six. Six. Six probes for six adepts. Uh, it doesn't feel great. He got a sentry, too. In fact, it feels bad. He's up on probes. True, but army supply is pretty abysmal. Yeah, Zest is... He's going. Zest is like, I know. That was your entire army. Let's go. He's not wrong. It was his entire army. Oh, okay. Six Adept has historically been done with Oracle Openers, so it's partial mind game and it's constant pressure force that keeps them honest, as we can see here. Wow, that makes a lot more sense. I mean, I guess. Problem is, I think Hero is dead. Mm, I don't know. He's got an immortal. He he's got an two immortal. immortals. Ooh, all right, never mind. And he's two got a shield battery in the main base. Which oh, the Artosis smart Pylon, though. Oh my gosh, the Artosis Pylon. Goodbye, all the things. At yeah, least the he, Robo wasn't powered by it. He ain't dead, but... I mean... Oh, Zest with his own Adepts. Hey, they're still here. Dark Shrine from Hero, using that proxy Pylon he made. I like it. Going with the long game. Zest wants to take a third base, and there it is, right in the face of Hero. 
so it's nice for Hero to know that. But oh, has Possess the Depths seen the Dark Shrine? Not quite. The random proxy pylon, a little bit suspicious. Will be spotted and killed. The DTs are warping in, but fortunately they're invisible, so they don't actually reveal the Dark Shrine yet. The slow warping is slow. Mm, Zest, he's making uh, an observer though. He's Corona boosting it out. He's pretty smart. Yeah. And these DTs, knows. oh, this is going to be very bad timing. They're going to think, oh. hey, hold on. Wait, oh, what? Just one of them is going to die. Total ah, smart. Divide and conquer. Once you're as good as Zest, you just have a, you just have spidey senses. Once you've played about 10,000 PvPs. Yeah. You just know these things. You're just like, well, something, something's amiss. Yep. You know what I need? Oh, Detection. he even sees the invisible DT and runs the probes away. Oh my gosh. And then he's going to hug this one to death. Kill it with kindness. Oh my gosh. Hey, man. You want to feel productive for two seconds? <laughs> Take a couple whacks with your scythe there. Just getting up another Robo, getting up a Robotics Bay, too. Disruptors did him pretty well in the past. And now he's actually just thinking of moving on in. Up on Supply, Zest is looking to go for an attack. He doesn't actually have a Prism with this. Where's his Prism? Who Zest needs doesn't a have prism? one, so... Prisms are for the weak. Mm, might be a bit ambitious just to go for this now, of course. He might just feign the attack and run these two Adepts into the natural of Hero. Hero sniffs that out, though. Good reaction, warping in the four Zealots. Smart, smart. Well done. The Dark Cancels Shrine gets them. spotted and Zest is like, oh. Look at that. Mm, Hero's got a quicker plus two. He's got that going for him, which is nice. Double Raptor from Zest. Run adapts, but nothing is faster than zealots. Okay, so zerglings are, but is that it? That mm. played in the entire game. Faster, a boosted yeah. medivac, a phoenix, an oracle. Probably banshees with speed, but zealots are pretty quick. I get your point. Yeah, especially on the ground. Yes. Like On the ground, there's not a lot of things quicker. Mm -mm. I mean, if you're faster than stimmed marines, you're really fast. Oh, yeah. Uh, here's a counterattack from Zest. Reaction zero. Unloading the Zealots. Hero warps in his own to defend, but four is a greater number than two, and then it just becomes this mess in which both Protoss proceed to warp in Zealots. Oh, Hero's going for a big attack. Wait, what? I did not expect that. Um, if you're gonna win this game. The Immortals are bruised, but they are sitting back doing tons of damage. Everybody lose. I apologize for my observing. But We're I good. did not expect here to go for a big old attack. Totally but he worked did. out. Third Nexus is down. Zest is down to 45 worker. Hero's at 46. Uh, he's got disruptors, but Hero's got a prism. He's got a very large army compared to that of Zest. In the main base, things are getting a bit out of hand for Hero. He's even got DTs in his main. There is an Observer out for Hero, so he built one of those. Uh, Disruptor's popping out. Uh, getting Novas off. This is still going to be down to the wire on both sides, it would seem. Yeah, Zest's economy falling in the toilet pretty quickly. Not that Hero's doing much better. 
but by golly, those immortals back there. 11 kills on one of those guys, having a great time. Army supply definitely favoring Hero right now. But at the same time, Hero's main base is in shambles. Yeah. There's nothing much happening mm. there. The production tab, pretty empty for both players. Oh, a oh, recall. The recall. Wow, that's actually quite a smart choice. Where's he recalling? To his the natural. natural. Does he have the observer? Yes, he does. He's got Archons versus Mass Zealous, so he should actually be fine. Can Zest get Hero's observer, though? That's the question. Hero does have two observers, though, so he should be fine. Zest is being repelled. I think Hero just won this game. That was yeah, unexpected. Me too. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a terrifying zealot warp in over in Hero's main, and Hero's like, forget this, I'm going. <laughs> and it works better than any of us expected. Just attack when your opponent doesn't expect it. <laughs> I certainly didn't expect it. I don't think Zest did. The secret of PvP. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, that kind of came out of nowhere. We're paying attention to the Zealot attack going super well inside of Hero's base, and all these probes dying, and nothing going well, and then suddenly Hero's accomplishing everything on the other side of the map. Surprise. Uh, Alpha X Sushi just added $5 to the Macharino page. Alpha X nice. runs a ton of events on Afrika TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, brings us up to 3950. Very good. Looking fantastic. Yeah, not How a bad amount. How many codes do we have left? Uh, control F, coupon. We have 14 to go. All right, you guys. Not many more games left in this best of seven. Let's use those coupons. All right. We'll make sure everyone's ready. And away we go. The code is AW53 for Africa World 53, the 53rd of these events. Mm-hmm. Going to be on Simulacrum, the latter edition, for the next match. All right. Z the best of seven continues on. And this man, he put one on the board. He's showing life. It's Hero. And he was in control. Not so much anymore. But it's Zest. Yeah. Rocking the uh, Overwatch Diva portrait, though. Does he? That's what it was. Ooh. I think he probably... We can find out if we really want. Zest usually runs... Yeah, sometimes when you press on a player's vision, you hear their audio, and it's just Diva chirping away. Right. I don't know if it's the voice, but in the loading screen, it's definitely... It's probably uh, the voice. <laughs> a lot of Korean pros use it. True. She is a very popular. Mm -hmm. Now, you said Zest or that Hero was showing some control in that last game. No, I was or... saying Zest felt like he was in control yeah. until that last game. Yeah, I fully agree. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I was like, Zest, all right, Zest is going to just handle this one easy peasy. And then yeah. Hero was like, Victory! <laughs> <laughs> As he just charged Victory on screech. in there. Pretty much. <laughs> Alright, well, Hero Cybercore is a little bit behind Zest, but really not much enough to make a huge difference there. One second. Yeah. You have any thoughts on this map? You like it, dislike it, no strong feelings? I'm a Terran, so I don't like it. Okay. Um third base too wide open. Yeah. It's too easy bad. to attack into. Yeah. There's like three different ways you can get murdered. Yeah, like uh, I've had bad times on this map. <laughs> like a of Protoss being like, Zealots! From the north, from the west, from the south! And then just... I was dead. Of course, conversely, their third base is very wide open as well. It is. That's very true. So, I mean, there's something about that, but I'm not like a big bio player, so... Yeah. I've been trying to macro in my TVP lately. 
when I've had time to play, and it's been going all right. But I have died to just like those big attacks. I need to get better at sniffing them out. Yeah. The worst way to die in StarCraft is the attack you never see coming. Yeah. And I really should. Because I was like, okay, that was an odd attack, but then it happens like five games in a row. The same timing that Protoss tend to hit. Right. You're just like, mm, I need to start actually preparing for this. Yep. But we'll see. Hopefully my macro will get there. Yeah, it's a very Zerg thing, too. Like, ah, I made one extra round of... And now I don't have enough... Uh-huh. Crap. That's always a bad feeling. So as far as this game goes, it's just the usual... I see you, you see me. I'm here. What you doing there, friend? No shenanigans. No cannon rushes. I don't think it's going to happen, Laughing Games. I don't think so either. I feel like it would have happened if it was going to. Mm, yeah. I'd like it to happen, so then I can learn how to deal with a cannon rush in PvP. Ooh, yeah. That would be awesome. I mean, the answer is get stalkers out as soon as possible. Yes. <laughs> in a nutshell. But it seems the cannons are always faster than my stalkers. Hmm. Okay. Uh, skirmish going on. Hero's out on the map. He actually catches Zest's unit, so I think he comes out positive on that trade. Um, three dead stalkers for Zest, one dead adept, one dead stalker for Hero. You do the math. I will not. Doing math. While streaming is a horrible idea. It is a horrible idea. Somebody in stream, do the math. In chat. Just observing the hard part. Yes. While doing math. Absolutely. I'd actually rather do the math on stream than observe while commentating. It's <laughs> <laughs> a hard combo for sure. Forty-three to forty-four workers, bit of an army supply lead here for Hero. Hallucinated Oracle, not something you see every day. Kinda like it. Okay. Prisms on the way, pretty much the same timing. Charge on the way, pretty much the same timing. Plus one attack on the way, pretty much the same timing. Templar archives, pretty much the same timing. Cause that's gateways are sooner though. Like substantially much sooner. sooner. Hero, where are your gateways? Hero? You gotta build your gates. I mean, it's pretty clear you're trying to do the same thing as Zest right now. And yeah, he's um, just got a lot of money. Show me the gateways. Zest. There we go. There's there, well, two. Two. All right. That's Two's much better. less than Zest. There we go. That a guy. There's his <laughs> six. Better Related. late than never. We're alive. Like, if Zest gets his prism in here with his gates online sooner... Hmm. It seems pretty disastrous for Hero. No, nah, he should be fine, though. It's just curious how Zest's were so much quicker. I guess he wanted to go for this weird Archon drop. Hmm, probe's very vulnerable to Archon shots, so this is gonna catch... Oh no, don't clump up the probes! Oh gosh, oh gosh, four dead probes, five dead probes. Six dead probes. Seven dead probes. Seven! Ah, ah, ah. Uh, sentries cannot tangle with Archons. So that was nice for Zest. Okie dokie. Thirds on route for both players. Hero's like, I got Archon dropped. I'm gonna do my own Archon drop. And the Archons are gonna say hi to each other. As they do. Professional courtesy, really. <laughs> it is. 
two Archons see each other in the wild, they have to say, hey. Yep. Oh, hero. No, 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 no. Okay, good reaction. Oh, he almost baited Zest. Now Zest is going to move out on the map to go for an attack. Hero hasn't sniffed this one out because he's been busy dealing with the Archons, and this could actually completely blindside him here. Oh, he's coming right up the middle, and Hero oh, has no. no idea. Yeah, Hero is just not paying attention to this. He's not doing warpins. You got to do your warpins, Hero. Oh, gosh, his stalkers get surrounded and ambushed. Oh, this is disastrous for Hero, I'd say. Mm, he warps in more Zealots, though, and he will repel Zest. Still down about 15 supply, which is bad. Yeah, he's up on Archons, though, by three Archons. That's nice. And when Zest has a large Zealot comp, that is quite significant. So Hero's going to turn it around and say, I got Archons. Um, I don't know if he's got enough to make a successful push here. He does have sentries. Do they have enough energy for Guardian Shield? Not at the present. A Robo on the way for Hero. A dis a Robo Bay on the way as well. He's got to be careful though about moving out. Meanwhile, a big attack moving into the main base of Zest. The Archon Zealot duo. Going to try and give his opponent some grief, which it very well could do. He's actually going to set his sights on this Robo facility. Mm, not going to get it though. Not quite. Bit of a bummer there. It's hurt, but not dead. Hero going for the quick disruptors this game. I like seeing that. I mean, I don't mind his position in this PvP. He's gonna have out... Or he should have out disruptors by the time this attack really hits for Zest. So if he can get off one or two good shots, that really could dictate how this game is gonna go. Uh, Zest is eager to go for the attack that he's moving on in, but he's actually quite strung out at the minute. I mean, his zealots are a little bit late to the party, but they are now in Hero's face. Disruptor's getting shots off, but uh, not really. And all of a sudden, Zest's attack is hitting. Hero is not fighting in front of his shield batteries. His supply has plummeted. Oh, it felt like a Zerg swarm there with all the charge lots just running around murdering stuff. Yeah, 85 to 24 army supply is what we like to call in the business a GG. That said, Hero is willing to fight. Willing to stand in. Yeah, that is not going to change it up though. Zest will be the victor of this map, giving himself a nice lead. Yeah, not an insurmountable lead, but a nigh insurmountable lead, to be sure. Yeah, I think Hero could have held that if he had been in position. It just, like, the Zealots were already on his Robos by the time the Disruptors popped out, and it was just, uh, just a killer instinct from Zest. Yeah, definitely. Well, he had double the army supply, and sure, there are more Archons for Hero, and there were Disruptors, but... It really would come down to some massive blunders on uh, Zest's side to actually lose the ensuing battle. It was just too much. Too much, too much. So Hero fans are not particularly pleased with how this is going, if I had to guess. If you're That's a Hero it. fan, you should be pleased, though. He's, he's shown good games. And he did win a match against Zest here. I just linked the match Reno in chat. Please help us nice. use that coupon code at the contribute button on the Matcherino page. Completely free. Before this event wraps up, let's try and knock out some of those codes. Yeah, let's get those out. Use them. If you don't get used, well, mm -hmm. it's like they never existed. All right. So we'll make sure everyone's ready to go, and it looks like they are, so... We're off to what could be the final map of the day. And it's going to be officially World of Sleepers.
which I can't say without <laughs> saying it that way. It's a curse. All right. In the top right-hand side of the map, he's Hero. And in the bottom left-hand side, he is Pink, he is Protoss, and he is Zest. Zest got himself a nice 3-1 lead here. Looking good to close out this series. Is it time for the cannon rush? Come on. I mean, nope. no. Nope. There's already be a probot across, like halfway across the map. That is true. That is the tricky thing about cannon rushes, you can tell. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy this sort of commentary, Falcon Paladin and I both have YouTube channels and Twitters and such, which are some of those which are linked in the message above. And we do these at Freak Worlds every two weeks, so if this is your first time checking them out, we'll be back probably in two weeks or so. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, our names are unique enough. If you just Google us at yes. all, you'll find our stuff. I have I've never, never had somebody. Yeah. I've never had somebody say, I was looking for your stuff and I found someone else. Like That just never happens. Nope. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. Hero's going for his odd proxy again. Which, again, hasn't really accomplished much today, I don't feel like. Yeah, like, they're not extreme enough proxies to really mess with Zeth. Like, I wouldn't have actually minded, like, a proxy Stargate one of these games, like, really close to Zeth's base. Yeah, definitely. I would have no problem with that. And it's a Stargate. Yeah, it's fine. I guess that's just so you can get it going before the probe has to be showed away. Shoot away, pardon me. Right. Just so you can hide something from your opponent. Yes. Um, these adepts are locked in, but the piling gets cancelled and they are released. Just at the last second. Freedom! Zest is going for a Nexus, so a notable commitment there at this stage of the game. Stalker's moving in. Gonna set their sights on this pylon. Cancelling that would be nice. Uh, Hero should be able to save that though. Gets the first shots, nicely done. And then he's got his two adepts, which are going to be moving across the map. There's a chance they can mm. achieve greatness. Although it looks like Zest has his own counter adept, so that should be oh just fine. Gosh. That was the last possible second on that pylon. That was beautiful. Okay. So Zest not getting a lot done. Or, I mean, Hero not getting a lot done with those, but it's just notable attempt at harassment. The Oracle is really going to be the main showing here from Hero, if it gets the damage done or not, but it is flying dangerously close to those Stalkers. However, it looks like it is going to find its way into his S space un really unhindered for the most part. As I say that, those Zest pulls back, gets his Stalkers right into position to defend the natural. He's got a couple in the main base. I do like the fact that Hero is waiting for two oracles. Patience is a virtue after all, so we may be able to find some damage. I don't know, it's pretty like defensively stacked here. Although, yeah. draw him out. Oh, the adept in the main base pulled the stalkers out a little bit, so he's gonna get himself a few probes. Yeah, four uh, probes, the... not bad. Okay. Ooh. Oh, another one, one of the oracles. Oh. Goes. I think he'd go down. 
Five probes would have been pretty are pretty good if you got both the oracles out. Now I'd say it's just all right. Agreed. First immortal of the day, gonna pop out here for hero. How dare you scout? Ah, Save the soccer. my privacy. <laughs> there is no privacy in PvP. Same story, other side. Zest Tech is faster, finishing up a simpler archive as well. The Twilight Council is still finishing up here for Hero. There's Zest with his mass gateway production once more. Hero's going up behind that, along with the Templar archive. Zest already has his done. Test. Once again, going to be going for the Archon drop into the main base of Hero. Hero has his own Immortal drop, though. However, the Archons really will win an engagement between the two if they meet. As Immortals cannot shoot up. Hero's Prism gets shoot away. Zest is going to land right in the main base of Hero, start killing off probes. Currently three, that number is probably going to go up. Uh, At least four. Four. Always unlucky <laughs> probes left behind in the gas. Yeah, don't get the command to get out of there. <laughs> Poor guys. I just wish Archon attack beams were just stronger. In like, Brood War, they just, they were like, whoa. Like so, just so you're not talking about like the actual stats, just like the animation? Yes. You yes, want it to yes, be like a big old laser beam. Yeah, instead it's like, here are two skinny lightning beams I'm shooting at you. Zap, zap. Yeah, I agree. It's just, I will never forget the first time I saw an Archon in StarCraft. I was playing multiplayer and someone made one and sent it on my base and I was like, what is that? And you just don't get that feeling with the oh, StarCraft. Oh, this is bad Archons. for Hero. Oh, man. Oh, both the Immortals <laughs> gone. Oh, no. Uh, so this uh, third base you were working on. Yeah, it's quarter past not happening and I think this game is going to be quarter past not happening for Hero. Losing those two Immortals that were a big chunk of his army. Zest is going for the throat. He's going for the final win. He forces the cancel on Hero's third base. He's up 31 supply. Hero backed into a corner. Got his Archons in the front, trying to deal with these Zealots, but so many Archons from Zest here. Oh, the stasis from Hero. How'd he get that down? What? <laughs> he just plopped it down in the middle. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Look at the wall! He made a wall of Archons! <laughs> That's more interesting! Oh, that is that is the way to go out. Colossus! I still don't believe he's fine in this game, but that is the way to go. No. But he's, oh, he tries again, but it doesn't happen. GG Zest wins the series 4-1. to one. <laughs> That was a great way to end it, too. Dropping a stasis in the middle of an engagement like that. That was great. And we get that hallucinated uh, Colossus on top of it just for the lulls. Gemini was enjoying it. Mm -hmm. Gemini enjoys it. You know it's good because he was, watches a lot of professional StarCraft. That was something. Beautiful. Beautiful win. So nice job, Zest, coming through in Africa World number 53. Really impressive display out of him, making it here. How many maps did he drop? Like three? Two? Mm. My, I, I can't remember the he, first Yeah, time. two maps. One to Dream, one to Hero. This is not bad. No. Two maps dropped. 
quite a solid run. Absolutely. I'm just going seven and two overall, so can't complain too much. Yeah, so well done by Zest. The favorite going into the tournament shows as that Zest is best. Mm -hmm. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you can find Falcon Paladin and I on the Twitter, or on the YouTube. Check out our Twitters and whatnot as we do announce the Afrika Worlds ahead of time on there. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, of course, if you haven't already, make sure to check out that Match Arena code as it is a free way to add money to the prize pool. Yeah, and if you and follow we'll... us both on Twitter, follow Africa TV on Twitter, you'll know in mm -hmm. advance we're going to have to. Yeah, well... <laughs> Thanks so much to everyone for watching. Do you have anything to add? Uh, no, I think that's about it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, everybody, for joining today. Good to have you around pretty much the whole time here, host. Appreciate your support. We'll catch you all next time. Again, should be a pretty excellent Africa world. But until then, thanks for being here, and hope you all take care of yourselves. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.